Greetings, everybody. This is Chaplain Bob, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This is going to be part seven of Sally's Earthquakes, the great earthquake of Revelation. Get your King James Bible, turn to the book of Isaiah. Bob's note, Isaiah is a very interesting book. It's considered the Bible within a single book. It has 66 chapters. The Bible, King James, has 66 books. And it even mimics, the first part mimics the Old Testament with uh, the failure of Israel and judgment, whereas the latter part of Isaiah mentions also judgment, but also the day of hope. So, without further ado, let's read Isaiah chapter 65, starting in, I guess, verse 1. Now, remember, people, that uh, in Jeremiah 3, 8, that God divorced Israel, but not Judah. Verse 1, I am sought of them that asked not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold me, behold me, unto a nation that was not called by my name. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people, which walketh in a way that was not good, after their own thoughts. A people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face that sacrificeth in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick. See, they're doing sacrifices and burning incense, but uh, it's not to the Lord, it's to the, the devils. Verse 4, which remain among the graves. Now, what kind of people hang out among the graves? And lodge in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things is in their vessels. Huh, makes you think about eating bacon, huh? And these same evil people in verse 5, which say, stand by themselves, by thy, I'm sorry, stand by thyself. Come not near me, for I am holier than thou. You ever heard that expression, I am holier than thou? In other words, stand, stand back, don't come near me. I'm holier than you are. The Lord says, These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense into their bosoms. Into their bosom. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, saith the Lord, which have burned incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills. Therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. Thus saith the Lord, As the new wine is found in the cluster, one saith, Destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servant's sake, that I may not destroy them all. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains, and mine elect, mine elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there. And Sharon, or Sharon, shall be a fold of flocks in the valley of Achor, a place for the herds to lie down in, for my people that have sought me. Oh yeah, there is going to be a remnant of people that are going to seek the Lord. Verse 11, But ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. 
Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen, for the Lord God shall slay thee, and call his servants by another name. Uh, in the times past, Bob's note here, in times past, didn't God call his servants Israel? So why is he going to call his servants by another name? Huh? Christians? Hmm. Verse 16. That he who blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth. And he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the God of truth, because the former troubles are forgot forgotten, and because they are hid from mine eyes. Now, here's where Hall Sally says, check it out. This is important. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. But be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a, jo a rejoicing, and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people, and the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. Bob's note here. Doesn't the Bible record in Revelation that God shall wipe away all tears? Hmm. All right. Verse 20. There shall be no more thence an infant of days, nor an old man that hath not filled his days. For the child shall die an hundred years old, but the sinner being a hundred years old shall be accursed. And they shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. Wow. Before we even call, I will answer. Before that they call, I will answer. And they are yet speaking, I will hear. Now, of course, this is future. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. And the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, and dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy, and all my holy mountains, saith the Lord. So until the lions eat straw, uh, uh, it's just not yet, right? Revelation 21. Now, Isaiah 65 is the second to the last chapter in Isaiah. Revelation 21 is the second to the last chapter in the New Testament or and Revelation. So let's read verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. All right, Sally writes, And evidently none of that which would cause sorrow will be remembered in the new earth, but remember what God told us next time someone says that Christ may return at any moment. Uh, let's see. Turn to Acts chapter 3. All right, let's read verse uh, Acts 3, 18 on. But those things which God before hath showed by the mouth of all his prophets 
that Christ should suffer, he hath so fulfilled. Now, remember, there's two comings. The first, he came as a suffering servant to die for the sins and rose again. The second time is to set up the kingdom. Okay, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord and he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. All right, let's go to Revelation chapter 22. We're going to read and finish this up. Verse 1, And he showed me a pure river of water of life, uh, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manners of fruit, fruits, twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Twelve fruits, twelve months, twelve tribes of Israel, right? And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. I think I'd rather have the name of the Lord in my forehead than the mark of the beast, but hey, that's just me. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light. Remember, Jesus is the light of the world. And they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show you, to show unto his servants the things which must shortly, which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel, which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. Uh, just a note here. Um, I believe our rank will be according to our works. Our salvation isn't by our works. Uh, that's by faith alone. But your place in heaven, what your rank is going to be, will be according to your works. But that's a whole nother study. Verse 13. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments... What? Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Wow, isn't most uh, preachers you hear say the commandments were nailed to the cross? Either they go to that extreme or they say that, um, you know, you got to keep the law to be saved. Salvation by law. I don't know. Blessed are they that do his commandments. You know, if you're saved, you shouldn't be killing people, right? Verse 15. Uh, okay, I may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, If any man shall 
add. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. So don't add and don't subtract anything. I feel no sympathy for publishers of the Bible that change the word of God. Verse 20. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. You know what? You ever uh, read a book and you get about halfway through it and you say, You know what? I'm just going to go to the end and see how it ends up. Well, guess what? I've read the end of the book. I know how it ends. All right. Well, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, amen. This is the end of the series, Earthquakes, by uh, Sally and Chaplain Bob. In Jesus' name, amen.